This trip to Vienna is incredibly, incredibly meaningful to me because uh, this is my very first uh, season as violist of the Takash Quartet. Today, here we are, um, and I had the most wonderful morning uh, seeing where the magic of, of your strings that I, I rely on every moment of my concert career, and I've been playing on ever since I was five years old, you know, I finally got to see the amazing process of, of how they come, come into creation. To get that news that I had, I had won a Grammy, I, 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 I couldn't keep it together. After the little green room uh, where we met with the press and we got to meet all these wonderful other uh, winners of the Grammy, um, log off and you're in your music study at home. And so what I did to uh, celebrate, I went outside and I shoveled my driveway which had two feet of very, very heavy snow. So the whole neighborhood was shoveling snow, young people, old people. My neighbor came up to me, finally said, oh, your name's Richard. Um, I was wondering, do you sell cars for a living? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm, I actually play the viola and I'm, I'm a member of the Takash Quartet. So it was, it was very, um, it was a nice, it was a nice correction just to, to go from, from the glamour and the glitz to just you know, to my, my normal life, which I really love, I appreciate very deeply in my normal life. I, I went from using dominance, like many, many of my friends and, and colleagues, uh, I think dominance were the benchmark, everyone used dominance. And then I made the switch to Spiracore, um, which were incredibly powerful and I used for many years until us violists were lucky enough to get the Peter Infeld strings. And I had been very, very devoted to using pies for, for many years until I got this very nice call from a friend of mine, Claire Stefani, in, from uh, Connolly Strings in the United States saying we're testing these prototypes of these new strings, they're called Rondo, and we'd like you to be one of the, the recipients to test them. And I said, sure, sign me up. And I, um, I was playing a, a, some quartet concerts, of course, with the, the, the Takash Quartet in December, and I got the set of Rondos in the prototype packaging, and I put them on immediately, and I just played a few notes, I was like, and I was immediately like, this is special. And I took it to rehearsal, the next day with the Takash Quartet, everyone in the quartet uses um, tomastic strings. So I, I didn't tell them I was using new strings and Ed, the first violinist, was like, What's, did you do something with your viola? Did you switch your bow? It sounds so great. It's very focused and it's more present. And, and I was like, no, there are these new prototype strings. I was like, well, whatever you're using, what you should keep on using them. <laughs> One of the mainstays of my musical life is South Korea, uh, reconnecting with my, my mother's country. So in, in this very uh, barren year, to get on a plane, fly across the Pacific Ocean, and all of a sudden, you know, you're quarantined for 14 days, and then the day you get out of quarantine, you're playing for 1,500 people. It's sort of really shocking. And then to have these strings on this fiddle um, was so great. Um, it was really, they were powerful, they projected, and I needed that right away. I needed to project in a very large hall, and they, your strings, once again, helped, helped my playing evolve. Mm -hmm. 